Hey guys, welcome to another video from the Parrot Bros. Now today, we are gonna be emptying out all of the stuff inside the car. The guy that sold it to me said to my friend who brokered the deal, um, I don't need anything in the car, it can all go, which is interesting. Now, when buying any used car, I love hunting for treasure. You're always gonna find, well, not always, but you'd hope to find some, some pennies and pounds slid under the seat some lucky dip stuff in the boot. You never know that people forget. Uh, it's always interesting. I've also got 10 rubble bags, which I got from tool station because I'm gonna need them and some blue gloves because you never know what you're gonna find. So uh, before we get stuck into treasure hunting, let's jump to the intro. Okay, so gloves on, got me rubble bag for the rubbish. We'll put the treasure down there and we'll have a little scout through it afterwards. Let's start with a boot because that's usually where you find the best stuff because it gets put in there and forgotten about. What have we got here then? Whoa. Right, so straight off the bat, we got eight sparkling water. Now, I hate sparkling water, so that's no good. Maybe we'll use that for like pouring onto stuff or something still in its packaging. SIF antibacterial multi-purpose spray. Now that will come in handy because this thing is mucky. We've got a bag of oily receipts, which looks like rubbish. So that we'll put in there, straight in the rubbish bag now. Oh, here we go. This is ominous. 1040 part synthetic and it's empty. So that's, I mean, to be fair, there's a puddle behind you in the garage, so I'm not surprised that there's a uh, top up oil in there. So that's five liters of uh, between service lubrication. I'll keep that because it's handy to have a empty container. What we got? Empty glasses case. Oh, hello, 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 hello. We got a pump with a light on. Oh, it's a snazzy one, this. Now this actually has the, it has the box as well. Love, don't mind if I do. Now that is also concerning because you think, well, if they've got a pump in here, is one of the tires got a slow puncher? There is one of the one of the wheels. I can't remember which one it was now. I think it's the driver's side one, looks a little bit on the soft side, so maybe that one's got a slow puncher. I will be taking all the wheels off before we get it on the road because, well, I've got to do the brakes at the back and the front is going to be worth having a look and checking everything. Um, so that is definitely going in the keep pile. Nice tire inflator, happy with that. Although it's gonna go back in the car, because well, you never know. Fiat security register, we'll keep that nice little one. Just in case. It's nice to keep the documentation with the car. Oh, here we go. Bit of bird watching. See if these actually work. Get, get told off for being a peeping Tom down here. Right, what we got? Oh, yeah. Well, they're pretty good, you know. That's going in the keep pile. Pair of binoculars. I haven't seen a pair of binoculars since I was a kid. My granddad's. Right. An oily book for the rubbish. An oily MOT certificate. When was this from? 2019 to 2020. Couple of little advisories, oil leak, slight play, vari various oil leaks, all over not to excess. <laughs> oh, that would explain what I've just seen in the boot, which is, guess what? Some more oil. So this is a self-lubricating car. So we're at seven liters now. And this is, I've got proof of it having servicing where they've changed the oil and they've not used this oil. So that's seven liters of top up oil. I might have to go and buy some oil at this rate. Um, oh, hello. Little Fiat Aftercare book. Oh, service stamps. Oh, nice. So this hasn't had, hasn't had stamps in for a while. So we'll have to uh, get that top back up. And then we've got a, an owner's manual, which looks to have been, had oil in it, but still, nonetheless, we'll keep that because that's handy to know because well, I know nothing about Fiat's. So, apart from they need lots of oil. Um, a bulb set, which is a Velcro, so we'll keep that stuck in there. 
and oh, uh, uh, uh. I should have had a mask on for this one. So we have a pack of six crumpets. Does it have an expiry date? Oh, please have an expiry date. Oh, I can't read it. Best before the 6th of July, but it doesn't say what year. Now, this is a crumpet, and just for YouTube, I'm gonna get this out. I'm not gonna get it out, that's disgusting. You can see, that's what a crumpet's left look, look, look like if it's been left for that long. It's actually gone flat, like, like a disc. That's why you wear gloves. An A to Z of, I'm never gonna use because I have Waze on my phone. Rubbish. Half a CD. Dido. Oh, bit of Dido, it's got a CD, has it got a CD player? I'm gonna have to cross that one bridge in a minute. Well, that CD looks all right, so. Worst case, I can listen to Dido's best hits because I don't actually have any CDs myself because I have, oh. It's like they knew I was gonna clean it out, so I have a bag of bags. I mean, if we're talking, what are they now, 20 pence a bag? I've got at least two quid in there, so that makes the car two pound cheaper when I go shopping. Or just to put all the empty oil containers in. We're getting towards the end of the boot now. What have we got left? Curling bar. That's not gonna get used. Um, ooh, ooh. Oil filter pliers. I don't actually have a set of these, so. Bonus, they're definitely going in the keep pile. All right, we're pretty much at the end of the boot. Now I've got, I'm not even gonna lie, I don't even know what this is. Oh. Ooh, some sort of stamp. That's cool. Right, further research required. Oh, okay. Some sort of stamping. Stamping tool, interesting one. Right, that is pretty much the boot empty apart from whatever this was. Not 100% sure. Maybe, who knows. And that is pretty much the boot empty apart from some empty bottles. Um, let's move on to the inside, see if we can find anything better. Okay, so moving on to the inside of the car now, I've got myself a new bag. Um, straight away, I've noticed another bulb set. So that's the third one I think I've seen, which makes me think this car likes bulbs. Um, there's a random cover trim, which obviously not knowing anything about Fiat, so I'm not 100% sure where that's come from, along with a screw. Any kind of screws or bolts I'm finding, I'm keeping just because, well, you never know what they're for. Uh, more CDs, the Beatles. Looks like it's seen better days. Um, and then just this side is just loads of tissues and receipts. Oh, a mask. Glad I'm wearing my gloves. What's this? Oh, who remembers this? This takes me back 10 years. AA Route Planner. So you put your location and where you're going to and it gives you a list of, um, a list of roads to take and stuff like that. A few more receipts and that's pretty much the front clear this side. Now we've got, oh, hello. Enhancing polish, pledge. Um, I think maybe we'll find a use for that one day. What we got in the back? So the seats in the back actually look like they've not been sat in. Oh, oh, another bulb set. So that's the fourth one. So we've got plenty of bulbs. Um, an absolute predator of destroyed CDs which have half the coating missing and uh, absolute crap. I mean, I'm gonna have to change the stereo because I don't own any CDs. Uh, what else we got here? Another bottle of sparkling water. Ugh, ugh. Disgusting. And then another glasses case. Now this one actually has some polarized sunglasses, but unfortunately they've only got one eye, so it's not really of much use to me. Another screw. We'll keep that because that looks like a screw for the car. Anything else? Any other treasure? Oh, hello, hello, hello. What we got here then? So apart from some random receipts and more, yet to more bulbs, we've got some money. So how much cheaper has this car become? Oh, another bulb. Two, three, 
four. Ah, oh, this car is a, has become five pounds cheaper. Admittedly, some of that money is stuck to the middle. Oh, and a couple of euros as well. Uh, some used cigarettes and a couple of lighters. So I don't smoke, so that's of not much use to me. Um, oh, a first class stamp. That's as good as money. And that's where it ends. Now, all we've got left is the driver's side. Now, I saw... Let's have a walk around here. Now, I saw a couple of things. One is really interesting because it's got a old school stereo. Now, I'm sure new stereos, the front still comes off. But this is one of those ones that you click on. And then when you press to put the CD in, it sort of tilts forwards. And the CD goes in above. Very cool. So this is an LG. This one's got Bluetooth. So it's not actually that old. It's old. Definitely old, but not that old. And we've also got, which I have not used in an absolute lifetime, but there's no holder for it, is a, a Garmin SatNav, which again, I don't really use. Um, but it's got a magnet mount, but we have no magnet that I'm aware of. And the other thing I noticed, because that's pretty much, apart from the money, I think we've done all the, there doesn't appear to be any other Cubby pockets where stuff can get hidden. Um, I also noticed that the seat is very, very loose. And when I looked a little bit closer, this side here isn't actually bolted down. So that also needs addressing because otherwise I'm gonna break and the seat's gonna just tip up on me and I'm gonna end up in the front. Now the seat in position in these isn't actually very nice. It's quite high. It has like a, here the, the floor of the car is actually quite high and the seat sits relatively high, you can't wind it down. It only has back adjustment and then backwards and forwards. It doesn't actually have an up and down, which is a shame because you do find yourself sitting quite high. Um, the next thing I'm gonna be doing on this car is a deep clean because it is well used. Um, it needs a really good clean. I don't know if you can see very well, but the steering wheel is really mucky on the outsides. The gear knob's bad. All the lever and all that could do with a clean. It's not had any mats in for quite some time. So the carpet, Although quite plush, the carpet is quite thick. It's filthy and it's gonna need a lot of dust getting out of it. All the leather needs redressing. The speaker grills are a bit rusty, so I'll probably pop them out and give them a little paint up as well. Um, and just try and sort of breathe some life back into it and then see what, what we need. Cause I mean, the stereo is hanging out, the, the cubby's like sticky. I mean, I'm leaving sticky prints on it. So maybe the dash, well the dash is half hanging out as well. So. Maybe we need to sort the dash out. Maybe that's a common problem. I'll look into that as well. But I just wanted to share the treasure with you. Love a bit of treasure hunting. Uh, when you buy a car, it's always nice to find some money and some uh, sparkling water. If anyone wants any sparkling water, I've got a load here. <laughs> but yeah, that has been the treasure hunt, guys. Thanks for, for joining us for the journey. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.